Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about how to create deep emotional intimacy with your partner. And the, the more specific topic for this video is emotional safety. Have you been ever having this fantastic great sex with a lover and then the following day you might have a fight or a trigger and then you feel this huge emotional distance with the person with who you were intimated the night before. Sometimes it might happen even in the same night, in the same moment. You might just finish having sex and your partner says something or does something that triggers you and you blow it, you explode, you go into this, uh, you know, rage and then suddenly you are angry and then before you know it you are fighting with each other with uh, deep intensity. So there is nothing wrong with having shadows, you know, there is nothing wrong with having intense emotions in your relationship. All that can activate, you know, more juice and more presence and make it more fun sometimes, even if it can be explosive, but simply, uh, you know, activate a certain degree of energy in your couple that you would not access otherwise. But the, the problem is when those emotions are out of balance and they are very unconscious and totally untamed. If you go into a rage and you go like, I feel so angry right now and I want to punch you because you freaking piss me off. You know, as a woman, you say that to your partner and he might say, wow, you're really hot when you get angry. Because there is a sense of, there is energy there. It's, it's, it's something that is juicy and can be interesting. But if you are doing that from a place which is totally incoherent and you feel like you are being a victim of something that is totally dominating you, that's a totally different story. So... The default place you want to be in your relationship is a place of peace, where you can really relax. If you have no idea when your partner will attack you or challenge you or start abusing you, either physically or emotionally, it's, it gets really tense. And so when you want to have sex with somebody, you need to feel safe. You're not to engage into, into sex with that person and enjoy it and create emotional intimacy if you don't feel safe with that person. So if you have great sex and the following day you have a big fight and you are, you know, super aggressive with your partner, then the following night you go like, oh honey, I want you to open your heart. You say, oh, well, I'm not sure if it's safe to open it with you, you know, because yesterday I opened myself. And uh, today I, uh, I got a big blast, you know, there was lots of blame, lots of complaint about all sorts of stuff. And now you're opening, asking me to open up again. It's like, I don't feel safe because I have the feeling that tomorrow you're going to freak out over something. And uh, it's incoherent and uh, it's abusive. So it's very important to keep that in mind. Especially when it comes to tantric sex, it comes to really conscious ways of engaging into intimacy. You want to create emotional safety in your couple. And it doesn't mean that you don't have negative emotions, okay? It simply means that you have them in check. You can see them coming. You can see when it's appropriate to engage into a good fight battle, you know? And sometimes having a good fight in your relationship might be interesting. But it needs to be timed, it needs to be around uh, a, a space and a moment in the day which is appropriate for you to share that. And simply blasting your partner with emotional abuse or strong emotions is not creating safety. It creates emotional intensity, it creates like, you know, it puts you in tension, it makes you, you know, cringe and it, it contracts you very often. And uh, then when you go to have sex, you're like, oh my God, I have not sure if you are going to freak out again. And so keep that in mind. If you want your partner to open up to you, to be really in a place where you are sharing heart and heart connection and energetic connection, you need to be like, I can relax with you. I can be in a place of peace. I feel safe and it feels right. It feels good. And then if the following day you are going through some tough emotions, you say, look, honey, right now I'm going through some intense emotions. Is it okay if we sit down and we process a little bit and, you know, because I have to get it out of my system? Would you like to do some kickboxing together for a while? Because I need to get it out. And so if your partner says yes, then you go like, okay, let's bring up the volume and bring up the passion and bring up a little bit more of aggressive energies. And... Um, 
you can play with that. Okay, when I when I say kickboxing, I don't mean physical. It's just an image and a metaphor. But you get the idea. So keep that in mind. Creating emotional safety is a very important aspect to create energetic, deep emotional intimacy with your partner. Okay, I'll see you soon again. Take care. Bye.